Hey, it's me, Eustern. We're playing Zelda the Minish Cap. We are... Is this okay? Is this loud enough for you guys? I feel like it is. I hope. Um... Too, too quiet? It's too quiet? Okay, then I will like re-up this. God damn it, sounds... Capture thingies. Better now? I hope it's better now. So, yeah. Again, around this Zelda childhood marathon, we like going strong and uh, we beat Skyward Sword and now we are here uh, with Minish Cap. You know, still silent. Good. Maybe now. It should be. Okay. I, I just start. So if it like if it's not good, then it's good. We need a name by the way. I don't know how many characters we have, so let's go for This no, 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 we can't do this. No, 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 no. Oh, I, I have, I have a good one. Unk. Unk. Let's go, Unk. We're doing this. Let's go. Op op options? I, I need options. Message speed fast. Adjust brightness. Bright. Dark. Dark. Dark looks, dark looks good. So let's go into the adventure of Unk. Let's go. Start. A long, long time ago. When the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow, as it is, the tiny Picori appeared from the sky and bringing the hero of men a sword. With wisdom cour and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. This true. I was this hero. When placed when peace had been restored, the people enshired that blade with care. Enshrined, sorry, enshrined the, the, the blade? I, I'm sorry. My nose is drippy. My nose is droopy. No, I'm sorry. Get it now. Yeah, she's like going around town. <laughs> oh my god. Good morning, Mr. Smith! Master Smith? Goodness! God is me, Princess Zelda. Did you sneak out of the castle and come all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You, you know who he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Unk? The whole town is bustling for the, an annual Picori festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, Unk was up late helping me last night and he'll still asleep. But I do have an errand at the castle. Yes, that should be fine. Unk, time to get up. Where am I? Oh, I, I live upstairs. Here we go. Look at me. Oh, I'm so... Oh! Oh my god, I have a bad hair day. Oh no. Oh no, I have the super bad hair day. Look at... Oh no! Hey. 
Hey, Junk. Princess Zelda is here. She'd like to know if you join her at the festival. Yeah, Unk. Come on. Let's go check out the festival together. Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. Yes, after all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on, have fun. And while you're there, you can do me a favor. I just finished making this sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. You accept with the smith sword. Make sure you don't lose this extremely important delivery. This is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it, and while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda is the princess of Hyrule. Watch over her, don't let anything bad happen to her. Master Smith, quit worrying, we'll be perfectly fine. Come on, Unk. Let's go check out the festival, Unk. Best name, by the way. I guess she's going. <laughs> mine. Mine money. All mine. Date start, yes. Unk, over here! Hurry, let's go! Okay, hurry, let's go. Here we are, the town of Hyrule. Good. Oh no, a beetle is here too. Here we are, Unk. Doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's look around. Look around, guys. There's a storyteller here. We should stop and listen to... Oh, I wonder what's over there. So the... Picori are real. My father always told me they were. Oh, look. Hey, wasn't there, uh, wasn't there going to be a sword fighting tournament at the castle? I wonder who won this year. I've been on the road for a while. I come, I came back in time for the festival. It feels wonderful to be back in Hyrule again, in this joyous time. I must put this feeling into a verse. Oh hi! Are you enjoying the festival? It's so much fun. I'm so happy to be here, and my fresh j fruits are just delicious. Buy some. We have a winner! Oh my, Princess Zelda! You won the grand prize in your in your drawing? Wow! In our drawing, sorry. You get your choice. You get your choice of any of these wonderful prizes. What will it be? We first have this lovely heart-shaped stone. Next we have a magnificent gem. And finally there's a teeny tiny shield. Now which one would, it, would you like? Let me guess. The jewel. Oh, but this heart stone is very cute too. Choose whichever you like. The shield is so adorable. I think I take it. What? Why? Why would you want that ugly thing? What about the heart stone? It's cute. Or, or just giant gem. It's pretty. Honestly, they're both much nicer than this nasty little shield thing. Nope, I want the shield. Can I have it? What a strange princess you are. Well, okay. Here's your teeny tiny shield. Here, I want to give you a present. Doesn't the shield suit you perfectly? Oonk! Princess Zelda gave, gave, gave you a small shield. Hold the button to protect yourself. It is a little embarrassing though. It's so tiny. <laughs> ah. Yep, just as I thought. You look great. And now, if anything happens, you can protect me with that shield. Oh, I almost forgot. We have to take Master Smith's sword to the castle. Let's go, Unk. Let's go. Ah, look at me. The shield guy. Yes. The perfect protector of Hyrule. With this indie weeny tindy tiny shield. Let's go. Come on, Unk. Zuri to the castle. Hey. Ouch! That must be the business scrub I heard the soldiers talking about. 
They s were saying a deco scrub had been hassling all the, the pass buyers. Onk, do something! Please forgive me, sir! I heard there was a festival and I had to come to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we scrubs have a tendency to spit nuts when we speak. Everyone got scared and ran away and no one would buy anything. This is a terrible place to do business. I'm going back to my cave. You better go back to your cave. I actually feel a little sorry for that business scrub. But that nut hurt. Oh well, he won't be ha hassling anyone now. Hurry to the castle. Go. I hope you like the sound of that because this is the sound we make in the whole game. Rolling around downtown. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Unk. You brought the shield, did you? Uh, the, you brought the shield, the sword. Then, uh, as minister to the kingdom of Hyrule, I, Poto, accept this blade. You may just, you came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, Unk, but I'd better go. I have to prepare for the ceremony. I had, to, I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. I guess I was like. Since you're here, Unk, why don't you join us for the award ceremony? Okay, I guess. I mean, I can stay a little while and listen. Do you know about that sword, Unk? It is called the Picori Blade, and it it and it's and it looks much e and it locks much evil away in that chest. The the Picori Blade is sacred among the people of Hyrule. The legend has it that long ago the Picori gave us this blade. Whoever wins the uh, competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. Ooh, touching. Touch the blade. Touch it. Let the award ceremony commence. Vati, champion of the competition, you may approach the blade. <laughs> Could think things would go this well. The Picori blade and the bound chest spoken of in Hyrule lore. Sorry, Hyrule lore. This chest must hold that that which I seek. I will I relieve you of you of its contents now. Magus it looks cute in this time. Yeah, basically it's Magus from like Chrono Trigger. This is true. Hmm. <laughs> Do not interfere with me as Victor. I have earned the right to approach the Picori Blade. I've been waiting for this moment. This is not touching. I know what touching is. This is not touching. Who are you? Why are you doing this? The princess who... Uh, oh, this wasn't the princess who said this? Who are you? Like, the, the perfect princess voice, I guess. The princess who holds the power of light. That mysterious power is set to flow in the veins of every royal lady in your family. Ever since that day when it was gifted to your people. If I leave you now, you only chase me trouble later. That will never do. To stone with you! <laughs> All who stand in my way shall spare this fate. Now to find out what power awaits me in this chest. Empty. There was nothing in there but those monsters. What is the meaning of this? Well, I know the force I'm after is somewhere out there. I'm in no hurry. I can take my time searching for it. <laughs> Disappoint- yeah! What is, it? what is in the chest? Disappointment. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I'm sleeping. Yeah. Hello there. Oh, thank goodness. You're awake. 
Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see his majesty the king. Yeah. Ah. This is odd. Oh, Unk, you're awake. Hm? You're finally awake. What is this, Skyrim? Are you feeling all right? Stand at my side. The king of Hyrule is about to speak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it is as you all... As as yeah, it, it is as you have all heard. A man named Vati has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her into stone. If we had the sacred Picori blade, we likely could have broken the curse. But Vati shed out the blade. Whoever, I am have I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Picori? The Picori? You mean those? Some thighs little imps from the fa from the fairy tales? Yes, the same. But the Picori are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Picori who forged the sacred blade live deep within Minish Woods. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. What? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once. No, soldiers will not do. The Picori do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers would search for days and still find no sign of them. Hm. Okay. I see. If that's the case, then why not send Unk? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> if Unk has recovered, then yes, I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Picori should know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be, dan it will be a dangerous journey now that those monsters have been freed. Please take this sword with you, along with the broken Picori blade. <laughs> Incredible, yeah. You accepted the broken Picori braid. This is part of the sword needed uh, to reforge the sacred sword. Don't lose it. Don't lose this. You got the Smith sword. It's a sharp blade made by your grandfather. Very well then. Send the soldiers to search for Varty at, von at once. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deep Woodshire. Once humans and Picori shared that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be best if you started your search there. <laughs> Royal King. <laughs> Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just press meh. I've marked the location. Good. You got the map. Look how teensy tiny this game is. I'm counting on I'm counting on you, Unk. Only you can break Vati's girls and free Princess Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Again, like I hope you like this sound because we we are making this sound the whole way through. Like we are rolling, we are rolling through this game. We will not walk. Walking is slow. I hate walking. I hate slow. Let's go. I will take my time, you know, like... Ronnie's the new beeping, yes. North Hyrule Field. Oh yeah, and you can super spam the buttons, like... I can destroy every enemy, basically. In a glimpse of an eye. If they come near me, they will suffer. <laughs> oh, head carpenter. The King of Hyrule himself has entrusted me with this project. The recent earthquake? What? Construction zone? God damn it, I have to go around town? Okay. Lon Lon Ranch? <gasps> Money. You got run groupie. It's green. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Eastern Hills. <gasps> it's a house. Oh wow, I'm strong enough to like lift pots from the beginning? Cool. Who's living here? This is fenced off, cool. Oh, you mean because of the of my of my no? This is like swordsmanship. This is like perfectly Norman swordsmanship, if you can't tell. This is how we roll with our blade. Ouch! This is how we roll with our blades. Fast, furious. See? Easy. Oh yeah, and you can roll into enemies. This is like super annoying. Somebody stop them! Help somebody! Can't anybody hear me? I have to go back. Hey, yeah, get you there! Ow! Hey, don't just stand there. Do something! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me take this abuse? <sighs> well done. That was close. <laughs> Not that I couldn't handle them myself. But that's beside the point. What in the world is a lone child doing in so, so deep in the woods? Oh, I see. The Picori, you say? And Marty? Marty's cursed someone? What? The sacred blade? Is that so? I, I see. Uh, you know, I, you and I have quite a lot in common. You, you, you see, I too am on a quest to break the curse of Fatis. And you say that reforging the sacred blade can break this curse, eh? Hmm. Then we have found. Then have. Then you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My boy. My name is Edslo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Wait, I say. You walk so quickly. Too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely. You'll notice that I have no legs. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? If it isn't one... If it isn't one thing, it's another. You're a troublesome boy. There. Now you can't possibly leave me behind. Ah, it's quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than I than it looks, surely. And much easier, to, much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can you sit still? See there. Yes, that's it. Much better now. I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If ever you need my insight, press select. I'm happy to help. Uh, such a hopeless child. Oh yeah, and I'm happy if you shut up. Thank you. Let's rolling. Let's get rolling. Hold on for a moment, my boy. My boy. We stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now, huh? Who are the Minish? Ah, yes, silly me. Allow me to explain. The human call them Picori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans, only this forest has kept that name. Anyhow, deep in the forest, they built a tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, we'll have to make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump. Yes, no, that stump is a portal used by people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink down to minish size. Just stand on the stump and press N to shrink. To return to normal, uh, stand next to the stump and press M. I press M. Oh, 
Look at this. Welcome to the world through the eyes of the Minish. Now, aren't you glad to save? You saved me. No need to thank me though. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to lure, uh, return to normal, stand next to a portal and press Bleh. But there is one thing you must know. Being Minish size is full of dangers. Mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to the Minish. And as your com uh, companion, if anything bad happens to you, it happens to me too. So proceed with, with caution, my lad. If not for your sake, then for my own. Then for my own. Oh my god, Minish rolling. Help. Look how tiny I am. At least my shield is big now. <laughs> what? Minish village. <laughs> Dinky Linky? Hey! Larina Sofia, nice to see you around. Hope you're doing good. Hmm, it appears that we have found the Minish village. I guess, yeah. Pico Picori! Hello there. What? What are you talking about? I gather it's been quite some time since they last saw a human. What's that? You didn't understand what they were saying just now? Ah yes, that was the language of the Minish. Oh no, they have a language too? Oh no. Difficulties. Meeting new people and difficulties. No! <laughs> it's a little different from the di dialect I am most familiar with. I'm afraid I didn't catch most of what they said myself. But perhaps there is someone here who understands your language. You, you've been lurking for the past 20 minutes? Oh yeah, you know, lurking is just fine. But it's good to, you know, it's good to say hi so I can say hi back. You know, lurking is part of the experience, right? So don't mind, don't mind lurking. The only thing at the moment is like Twitch is super bad with like keeping track of viewers and like counting people and all that. Because, you know, some people have like two and a half million viewers and therefore like the platform is like a bit a, 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 a little bit like i don't know overcharged i have i have no idea so yeah good to have you here again it's good to say hi back so hi thanks for being here you should look around we should look around we should roll around keep rolling okay i guess this will not help me they're guarding their houses <laughs> they need they, they know I'm out for loot. <laughs> they know I'm out for loot. <laughs> what? Nani? I guess not. Guarding their houses. <laughs> Means nothing to me. Hmm, I've never seen it. <laughs> Did he have like a super like deep voice? Hmm, I've never seen an outfit like that before. Are you a human? Oh my, it's been quite some time since any human came here. My name is Festari. I watch the abbey as well as the sh shrine to the north. You seem to be seem to be having some trouble with our language, don't you? You could use a jabberner. It will allow you to understand our tongue. You should be able to find one in the barrel house. Just thousands of here. The barrel house. My accent was like, oh my, my, my voice for him was like getting lighter and lighter as we go. Good. Barrel house. I guess they mean this one. The one that looks like a barrel. Yeah. Hey, Unk. This must be the Jabbernut. Festira told you about. Well, you better eat it um, if you plan on making any progress at all. You ate the jabbernut. Now you can understand the language of the Minish. Yum yums. Mm. So you've eaten the jabbernut, and now you can understand us? The elder said that humans can no longer see us as they once could. It's amazing that you can't see us. 
Thank you. I'm, I, yeah, you know, I'm amazing. I, I know that. Sorry. Maybe I should visit the elder now. You know, pay respect to the el to the elders. Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, and again, like I'm sorry, but I will roll everything, even if it's like for your. Oh, you, you speak our language. It's been quite a little a, a while since we've heard outsiders speak our tongue. We have little to offer you in these woods, but please enjoy your stay. Thank you for your offer, but we have no time to relax. My name is Etzlo. This child is unk. We, <laughs> we need to break a curse that was been cast on the princess of Hyrule. To do so, we'll need to reforge the broken Picori blade. Ah, oh, yes, and you've come here now to have the blade reforged? If you want the blade reforged, you will need the four elements. Oh, yeah, you know. These are the crystalline... Crystalline forms of the energies that fill our world. Only by infusing the blade with these energies can a, can a new blade be forged. Here, give me your map. I can mark where these elements can be found. I guess we know what we do now. The earth elemental can be found in the shrine to the north of Festi of Festira's Abbey. Speak to speak with Festira. He will show you the path to the shrines. Entrance. Go with, ca go with caution. Evil creatures have lately made their home in our shrine. Return to me at once after you have found the earth element. Okay. I can do that. <laughs> oh, I can perfect roll, huh? Like, this is, like, way faster if I, like... Oh, you wish to go to the shrine? Very well, this way. Vile beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it is quite dangerous. Thank you. I will do that. I'm so tiny. <laughs> oh, piece of heart. I can't, like, I'm too. I'm. Mm, mm, it's okay. Let's go. The shrine. Deep wood shrine. This is. So, this would be the. Sorry that I'm like copying all these like I don't know like sounds they make but I <laughs> they're so good so this would be the deep wood shrine the Minish elder spoke of he said something about there being monsters inside didn't he hey now no reason to be afraid or anything I'll be waiting right here no wait what am I saying I'm not letting you leave me alone out here okay good so we can like move forward together even better you got a heart finally Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Look at these monsters like snakes, uh, snails. Come on, dude. There we go. There we go. There were buttons on the, you know, on the floor. Didn't see them. Hmm, there's a locked door here. See if you can find a key to... Oh. Thank you. I don't know if these snails are like count count as vile beasts. I mean, again, do you see that lever? I think you should be able to pull it. Shush. Like I don't know, like. Are these snails aware of that they are vile creatures, or are they just snails? I feel like they are just snails, you know? <laughs> like... Huh. Oh, look at the size of that barrel. Oh, alright. How silly of me. It's not big. We're just small.
Oh, this is loose now. Oh yeah, like this is not, um, this is not like um, Skyward Sword. This is a like much quicker game, and uh, again, it's like a much uh, the freaking you know the um, I guess the um, how do you call this? Sorry, um, the difficulty is much like no, no, no. It's not that difficult. It's like an easy game to play, actually. But this is like, you know, like I, I enjoy I, I I will enjoy this again. Like I really, really like oh can I can I shield them? No. I really enjoy this. Hey! Oh. Be careful, my lad. The barrel just moved. Good. We can go here and there's one door we can go go to. Oh. Oh, this is only what? Huh. Okay. Can't open doors? Maybe it's from the other side then. A vile beast. Oh. Huh. There's another heart piece. What we need now is something to hold down the switch. Okay, I guess this pod will do. Tutorial dungeon, yes! Ah, ah, it's a fly! Ah, please. Okay, I can push something. Even better, so I can like do this. And I can do... And another small key. Good, I know where this is going to, so let's go. Where this is going into, right? Oh, bridge is still there, good. Again, I like this game. Oh, should I like do the, the mushroom like full, full speed? Full speed? Half speed? Full speed, dude! Oh, yeah, we should totally do this. Look at this. Dungeon map. Mm. Look how brave I am. How old is Link in this game? Like, open. Also go on the other side of this, huh? Oh my god. Are you? Okay, perfect. Money. <laughs> Blue money. I wonder if I, like, will die in this game. For now it seems like super easy. But again, every Zelda game is, like, looking easy on the first, like, five seconds you play it, so... Was just everything laying money. I didn't, I don't like, I don't know, like, 
how will you tackle your normal life? But, um, you know, even monsters have to buy groceries sometimes. Maybe I, I, I take away their savings. I don't know, like, maybe they are... They're not evil, maybe they're like, I don't know, just saving for a special occasion. <laughs> I've taken away their money. Oh, this was a mini boss room, I guess, or like a challenge room. It was not much of a challenge. <laughs> what? Where are we going? Why are we here? Just to suffer? Ow! Okay, this door opens, good. Oh, I can... Okay, I can do this. Perfect. Okay. So this is not the way to go. Also, I have to go, like, to the basement. Good. Do the... Ouch! Oh, I lied to you. Yeah, this, like... Uh, we get, like, a... Um, item in this game... In this... Oh no, this is a compass. We get the, um, we get like uh, the blowy thing that we used in, um, in Skyward Sword. We get this here too. Like we get the blowy, th we get the blowy thing here too. Huh. Huh. How do we... I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess, I guess this is, this is part of the law now. I, I guess like he is. I mean, like, would you not be this person? Like, you, if you have the opportunity, you know, saving Hyrule, you get, you are like the chosen one. The, um, freaking, a uh, king has told you and you can do like basically everything to, you know, fulfill this duty, duty. Come on, you would do this too, right? Right? we kill all these? I don't know. Oh, I have another key now. I didn't realize. Oh, I didn't realize. Wh where did I get this key from? I didn't realize. I'm, I'm sorry. John. See, we get this gust jar. We get the basically the same like. This is better. But this is like pulling in. This is pulling in air. Slightly different, I guess. How do we teleport? Maybe I have to search for it. Ten mysterious shells. Okay. Another 10 mysterious shells, okay. <laughs> Going good so far. So there's a teleporter now to this heart piece, huh? Okay.
Oh, can I go downstairs now and like do something about this? Oops, I drowned. I'm sorry. No, okay, I can't. So I have to. I have to uh, reset this room again and like put. This there. I mean, like, look at this, like, uh, what, what caterpillar or whatever we just killed there. Like, it, it was totally innocent, right? Like, we, we just murdered this shit thing. Sorry, we just murdered this caterpillar thing, right? So, again, like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we are the bad ones. Like, again, like vile beasts, but I guess they're not so vile. Uh, so vile, sorry. <sighs> Unless we find a way to travel on water. Perfect, perfect. Now we're talking. I don't know, like... So far? What? What? Uh, excuse me? So I, I don't know. <laughs> How did I like do the one thing, but was to another key? Link lead swimming lessons. You know him. You know him for years now. We know two. We do, We know two things about Link. He can't just swim. Oh, I mean, like in, in in Skyward Sword, he could just swim, but he couldn't. He couldn't like uh, dive. Okay, so the normal Link, I guess, he can't swim, and um, he is sleeping very long. So the two things, you know. Okay, let's go. Almost. Yeet! <laughs> okay, maybe not, maybe not. Okay. We'll let this money sit. Okay, don't do something stupid now, Link. Told you. It's the big key. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is a game where we have to find big keys. Perfect. Give me that. He's a hard Oh, we have a left and a right. Go left first. I'm a lefty. Go left. Left rules. Left first. I guess it doesn't matter. 20 rupees. 
It's only for money. It's always about the money. 81 on rupees already. I will be the very best. Sorry, I had to like look after something. Ow. Perfect. Oh, I w yeah. Oh, I know. I know the. the I, I, you know, I remember the first boss here. I, 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 I really like him. I really like the first boss. Let's go. It's the best one. It's a normal sized green one. He's a meanie. Oh, I couldn't roll. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! Give me hearts! Help! How hard can this game be? <laughs> Almost died to the first boss. Super safe spot, dude. Cheated the game. Earth Elemental Kid. The power of the earth is the source of all living things. The earth elemental is the embodiment of that power. Cool. I love bodies. <laughs> what? Ah, we've got the earth elemental. You must go tell the elder at once. Let's go. found the earth elemental you are blessed with much courage and strength for for one so young if your conviction holds strong head to mount Crenel. there you will find a man named melari among all the minish there is no one more able to repair your sword if you ask him he will surely reforge the broken picori blade i shall send word to him in advance travel safely you are brave but there are many evils now in the world. Guess I can go there now. Leave through this door here. It will take you out of the forest quickly. Great Elder, we are in your depth. You shall head for Mount Mount Crenel at once. Okay.
green clothes and a mystical hat? Sir, would you by chance be Unk, the one who found the Earth Elemental? Surely you are. I have heard so many tales about you. I am Bellari, researcher of antiques. I am also, well, a bit of an, an inventor. You know, you won't be able to get back to town due to all this de the debris. Here, I have something that might come in handy. Get a bomb bag. Bombs. Good thing we stopped. Good thing we stopped here. Good thing we stopped. <laughs> wow, it blew up. Hey kid, look at where the stone used to be. There's some strange symbol on the ground. Yes, of course. Why, that must be... Well, I haven't the foggiest... <laughs> I haven't the fo foggiest... Foggiest? To be honest. So he has no idea what this means. Good. I don't know either, so... Perfect. Okay, we can like... Oh! What was this tiny explosion? Did you see that? What? Like, poof! Like, poof! I have to go all the way around to, uh... To get the hot piece, huh? We don't need it, so... It's okay for now. We don't need it for now. There's another house. <laughs> See? Hello there! Hello! Hey, look at this kinstone piece. Have you ever seen one like this? What? You don't know what a kinstone piece is? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you come back and see me when you get one, okay? Okay. He doesn't want to be friends right away? Twenty mysterious shells. Ooh. I don't know what this means. Um. Oh no no, this is like totally not the correct and right way to do. Let's blew up this. Oh yeah, this is what I. Should I like return to the um? Yeah, let's return to the forest real quick to get the hot piece. Eh, no, we, we saw it, so... Ow! God damn it. We saw the hot piece, so let's go. This is how we move here. One more. So, first dungeon down from four, I guess. We we, do, we only have four dungeons in general? I don't know yet. No. And we have no rush to, you know. We're not finishing. We are not finishing this in one day. So, I, 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 I mean, I, I guess I, I don't know yet. M maybe we are. Maybe I'm awesome at Minish Cap. I, I don't know. Could be right. Like, it could be that I'm super awesome at this game, and we can like just finish it today. I don't know. I hope. I hope not. 